वी लर्न वर्चुअल लर्निंग नेटवर्क पार्ट ऑफ पी सी टी आई ग्रुप प्रेजेंस बिफोर यू अ सेशन ऑन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग वी लर्न टूडे अबाउट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड लेट सी वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग वर्क प्लेस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग लैक ऑफ प्रॉब्लम रिकोगशन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड अकेडमिक्स वेज टू इन्हांस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्टेजेस एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इन बिजनेस कंक्लूजन एंड एक्टिविटी सो लेट सी वॉट इज प्रॉब्लम एंड वॉट इज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम इज अ डाउटफुल और डिफिकल्ट मैटर रिक्वायरिंग अ सोल्यूशन एंड समथिंग हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड और अकॉम्पलिश और टू डील विथ Everybody can benefit from having good problem-solving skills, as we all encounter problems on a daily basis. Some of these problems are obviously more severe or complex than others. It would be wonderful to have the ability to solve all problems efficiently and in a timely fashion without difficulty. However, well prepared we are for problem solving, there is always an element of the unknown. Relationships fail and businesses fail because of poor problem solving. often this is due to either problems not being recognized or dealt with solving a problem involves a certain amount of risk this risk needs to be weighed up against not solving the problem good judgment will ultimately determine whether problem solving was a success or not trying to solve a problem alone however can be a mistake hence the old adage a problem shared is a problem halved is a sound advice Talking to others about problems is not only therapeutic but can help you see things from a different point of view opening up more potential solutions. Now let's see problem solving at workplace. All problems have two features in common goals and barriers. Goals problems involve setting out to achieve some objective or desired state of affairs. Barriers they are the obstacles to solving a problem if you feel hungry then your goal is to eat a barrier to this may be that you have no food available you take a trip to the supermarket and buy some food removing the barrier and thus solving the problem of course for the ceo wanting to increase profits there may be many more barriers preventing the goal from being reached the ceo needs to attempt to recognize these barriers and remove them or find other ways to achieve the goals of the organization so employers value employees who can work efficiently through problems in a team so that is very important the ability to develop a well thought out solution within a reasonable time frame however is a skill that employees value greatly Employers want employees who can work through problems on their own or as an effective member of a team. Ideal employees can think critically and creatively, share thoughts and opinions, use good judgment and make decisions. As a new employee, you may question why an organization follows certain steps to complete a task. Employers are usually appreciative when new employees are able to offer insight and fresh perspective into better and more efficient ways of doing things now the problem recognition there is always many times we are not able to make decisions because we are not able to recognize the problem so difficulty in decision making arises when recognizing a problem becomes difficult not being able to get the perspective of the problem leads to slow and uninformed decision making Now problem solving in academic success Helping your child learn how to problem solve is a critical skill for school readiness Parents and caregivers are a child's first and most important teacher Teachers and parents they play a major role in the child's development Children learn by watching parents and caregivers handle different solutions and handle different situations and solve problems If a parent handles problems by yelling, throwing things, a child will learn to do the same thing. Children can learn by observing adults resolve conflicts and problems in a constructive way, which helps them in their academics as well. So it is important for children to see adults negotiate differences, compromise and resolve conflicts. learning to negotiate differences in a constructive way and allowing children to see how this is done is very effective and important 
When using these techniques, it is important to help your child think of constructive ways to respond to different situations. Now, let's see how and what are the steps to enhance problem solving. First is always focus on the solution. With this, we don't say don't focus on the problem, but try not to view problems as scary things. If you think about it, what is a problem? If you think, what can be the solution? Then your mind works in the same direction. This is because when you focus on the problem, you are effectively feeding negativity, which in turn activates negative emotions in the brain. These emotions block potential solutions. However, one should not ignore the problem, instead try and remain calm. It helps to first acknowledge the problem and then move your focus to a solution-oriented mindset where you keep fixed on what the answer could be instead of lingering on what went wrong and whose fault was it. Next, have an open mind. Try and entertain all possible solutions, even if they seem ridiculous at first. It's important you keep an open mind to boost creative thinking, which can trigger potential solutions. Whatever you do, do not ridicule yourself for coming up with stupid solutions as it's often the crazy ideas that trigger other more viable solutions. So don't see your answers or your solutions as stupid. They are not. View problems neutrally. Try not to view problems as scary things. It's really just feedback on your current situation. All a problem is telling you is that something is not currently working and that you need to find a new way around it. So try and approach problems neutrally, without any judgment. If you get caught up in the label problem, this may trigger a pot of negative thoughts and block any potential solutions from popping up. Next is, change your approach. Change the direction of your thoughts. Try to change your approach and look at things in a new way. Even if it feels silly, a fresh and unique approach usually stimulates a fresh solution. Next, use positive language. Lead your thinking with phrases like what if and imagine if. These terms open up our brains to think creatively and encourage solutions. Avoid closed negative language such as I don't think so or this is not the right thing but if. Next, simplify things. Try to simplify your problem by generalizing it. Remove all the details and go back to the basics. Try looking for a really easy, obvious solution. You might be surprised at the results. And we all know that it's often the simple things that are the most productive things. So, simplify your problems rather than making them complex. Now, let's see what are the stages of problem solving. Problem identification, structuring the problem, looking for possible solutions, making a decision, implementation as well as seeking feedback. Problem identification. The first phase of problem solving requires more thought and analysis. Identifying the problem can be a difficult task in itself. Is there a problem? Is there a problem at all? What is the nature of the problem? Are there in fact numerous problems? How can the problem be best defined? By spending some time defining the problem, you will not only understand it more clearly but be able to communicate its nature to others. Next is structuring the problem. It is all about gaining more information about the problem and increasing understanding. This phase is all about fact finding and analysis, building a more comprehensive picture of both the goals as well as the barriers. This stage may not be very necessary for simple problems but is essential for problems of a complex nature. Next is looking for possible solutions. It's now time to start thinking about possible solutions to the identified problem. In a group situation, this stage is often carried out as brainstorming session, where letting each person in the group to speak and share as well as express their views on possible solutions or path solutions. In organizations, different people will have different expertise in different areas and it is useful, therefore, to hear the views of each concerned party. That's very important. Next is making a decision. 
It is now time to look at each potential solution and carefully analyze it. Some solutions may not be possible due to other problems like time constraints or budgets. It is important at this stage to also consider what might happen if nothing was done to solve the problem. Sometimes trying to solve a problem that leads to many more problems requires more creative thinking and innovative ideas. Finally, make a decision on which course of action to take. Decision making is an important skill in itself. Implementation Next Accepting and carrying out the chosen course of action. Implementation means acting on the chosen solution. Next is monitoring or seeking feedback. Reviewing the outcomes of problem solving over a period of time including seeking feedback as to the success of the outcomes of the chosen solution means the problem was solved or not. The final stage of problem solving is concerned with checking that the process was successful or not. This can be achieved by monitoring and gaining feedback from people affected by any changes that occurred. It is, good, it is a good practice to keep a record of outcomes and any additional problems. Now, let's see the significance of problem solving. Why problem solving is important? To enhance creativity. To give us an idea of improved decision making. Reduce stress and anxiety and better interpersonal relations. Problem solving leads to finding new answers and unique solutions to problems and difficulties which leads to creative thinking as well. So why is it important to learn problem solving skills? Because we all have to make decisions. Whether you are a student, a parent, a business person, you face problems every day that need solving. Maybe you are trying to save your company, keep your job or end the world financial crisis. Maybe you simply need to eat better or find more time to spend with your family. Whether the issue is big or small, we all set goals for ourselves, face challenges and strive to overcome them. So, if we are good problem solvers, we will be able to make good informed decisions. Next, reduce stress and anxiety. When problems are solved in a timely and smooth manner, then stress and anxiety is reduced which promotes good health as well. Next, better interpersonal relations. Problem solving leads to forming positive bond and better interpersonal relations as well. So if we are good problem solvers, we are able to bond with people and we are able to solve the problems as well. Next, problem solving in business. So why problem solving is important in business? For customer satisfaction, if customers are happy, if we are able to handle the complaints of the customers in a proper manner, then the customers will feel connected and the customers will come back and it will attract more customers. For employee satisfaction, to create healthy chances and to create possibilities of employees growth in a professional as well as for a personal in a personal manner so when employees are happy when employees are satisfied they are able to give their best to the organization and in turn the organization as well as the employee flourish so that is why it is also important in business so problem solving is crucial in our personal as well as in our professional life we all are problem solvers in some way or the other whether in personal life or in professional life, we do solve problems. We strive to become better problem solvers. So, we should always strive to give our best and we should always strive to keep at it and not lose hope. As problems will be there, the solutions will also follow behind. Why there are problems? Because they have solutions as well. It's up to us to find out the best possible solution. Now, here's one activity for you. You have to share your experience with each other when you've had a problem and solved it courageously. Thank you.